guys um, coming to you with a short video I'm going to do an unboxing here I've got my webcam set up I don't need my computer um, or my iPad just yet so I think I finally got everything set up and ready um, I really don't plan to do any lives, but I do want to get into the Diamond Painting Marathon, the next one that comes up, just to see how it goes and, you know, how many other people are doing it, because I'm, I'm not going to flood uh, YouTube with uh, lives when there's so many people doing it. But anyway, I've got an unboxing here. As you can see, it's Diamond Art Club. Now this is Lovebirds. Um, it's round with AB Diamonds. It's a 32 by 45. Oh, well, we'll check that when we get into it. But anyway, as you see, it's the uh, nice new pink boxes. So, here's the scanner. Oops. Got to figure this out. Okay. This way. lot of figuring out to do. Um, let's get this open. Man, oh man, oh man. How's everybody's day? going today. I hope uh, it's a nice day for everybody. Today, this is Tuesday. Um, it is like 72 degrees, so it's like super nice. You know, it's not too cool, it's not too hot, it's the exact the exact um, it's just it's it, okay it's exactly where it should be it's not too hot and it's not too cold so on the back here we've got nine instructions on how to diamond paint how it works um, up here it gives you get this down here gives you the kit contents the uh, okay that's just different languages so it gives the kit contents which is premium velvet tarpene canvas colors coated rhinestones magic diamond applicator wax pad and craft tray. So, move these scissors. Check something real quick. For this to be a decent size, I did pay a lot of money for it and it wasn't on sale. So, I was I was happy about that. I might have had a coupon. No, I don't think I did. I paid $34.95 for it. $34.95. Let me see if I can get y'all a picture of these lovebirds. Let's 
Sometimes you can see it better this way. Yes, of course, it's animals. So, there's that picture. Uh, yep, I paid $34.95. So, let's get this thing opened. standard. Well, it's not standard. It's a uh, real nice uh, oops, I just dropped a blazer. I'll get to that later. You've got the blue tip with the single single tip. There we go. We've got the uh, pin grip. This is purple. <laughs> Got some backies. We've got the uh, clear white boat. Shaped. There you go. Heart shaped blue. Okay. Her screen just went kind of yellow, so I'm hoping that that'll change. Okay, let's put the beads with the side, to the side. Your regular bag here it says, Do what makes you sparkle. Down in our club. And obviously, my phone's got to start ringing in the middle. This is just the regular step my step guide, the nine steps. And on the back it just gives them the website and asks you to visit their online store. But I showed you that on my iPad because you can't really tell on the thumbnail. So I'm going to try this, which I'm not seeing it at all, so you'll see the thumbnail on the, uh, now this comes with the uh, plastic covering on it, um, not the uh, clear plastic, and I like the clear plastic because it keeps the uh, paintings from, uh, Wrinkling, um, it keeps them from um, getting creases and stuff like that. So, yeah, I really, really like that part of it. Okay, we have 38 colors. Or 
seen anything like that. But, normally if you don't see it like that, it's normally the very first number on the uh, key, which is normally always a white. Okay. Okay, there's no blue on the outside of the painting. It's, that's perfect. No blue at all. And I'm glad Diamond Art Club has, has uh, listened to us. Um, I know I was one that always wanted it like this, but I also know I wasn't the only one who liked it like this. But I like the idea that there's two keys, or legends, um, one legend being higher on the canvas and one lower. And this is as low this is as low as it can go on this painting. It's right there is the uh, blue line, pitch line. So um, if they went any further down, you're going into um, the uh, edge line, which uh, makes it easier for you to um, frame your diamond painting. into this. I'm trying to see if it's one piece or not. This should be pretty bright from the picture on the box and the uh, pictures on the uh, computer. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing now. I'll flip it this way. That was good. That was good. I'm looking for something small to do after I finish this. Uh, big one, Talitha Kuhn, that I'm working on now. Okay, that's as far up as I'm going to go. Just look how bright and beautiful that is. The court, uh, the colors are just off the chart. I mean, there's pretty yellows and greens, and even the sky is a very vibrant blue. And then you've got your, uh, like, cherry blossom tree that the uh, birds are sitting on. Um, I don't know if it's cherry blossom trees, but it looks like it to me. You know, because here's the uh, tree limb that they're sitting on and they're, you know, kissing each other. But I just think <clears throat> this is awesome. Let me look at the uh, clarity of the symbols. Let me show you. Get the shadow. Just gonna focus. figure out how to do that. And I've got written instructions from my daughter on how to do some of the things. Um, don't let me look at them. This being a smaller painting, it looks like even the placements of the diamonds, the circles here look so small. And, oh crap, there we go. 
with my light pad. I'm sure that'll be okay. Let me get my readers on. This helps a lot too. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I can see quite a bit here. Um, everything looks real good and clean with my readers. So, we look at the symbols here. They do have a couple of the ones that's got the uh, arrows pointing left, arrows pointing right, arrows put left bottom, right bottom, and then, uh, but it looks also like them are, you know, different colors. This is awesome. be nice to get into because uh, there's not the color blocking that I'm doing now. But, at the same side of that, I like the color blocking. I really enjoy that. Uh, I'm not so big about you know, changing out my colors every two or three minutes. But with this but with this uh, painting uh, 
Oh, the clarity on this is just going to be good. Um, and now I lost my... The confetti. The confetti's not bad at all. Um, they do have, you know, different colors throughout, especially around in here. But there are there's probably about four, five colors right in here. So the confetti there's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I don't know if y'all can see, but this canvas is already sparkling. It's just real pretty and sparkly. If Diamond Art Club is going to put these uh, covers on all of them. Um, I do know that this isn't a new painting. It's been around, but it's been out of stock. So they reprinted it. And I don't know. I still have five other Diamond Art Clubs to unbox. Uh, plus, I've got two of the newer ones coming in that... I ordered on the 15th so yeah I have a lot of videos put out I've got my special my first special or custom and uh, that's gonna be real special for me to do um, but yet again it's a big photo it's not this big it might be it's not quite half it's still a pretty good sized picture and I don't know if I want to show that just yet um, it just depends on I've got to be in a specific mood to do that but anyway we'll hopefully see that pretty soon I do have an unboxing but it's like triple X rated so I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube so <laughs> I don't know if you can mark your videos triple X and then do them or if you just choose not to do it and I don't want to lose any of my subscribers over a dirty picture it was a picture my daughter picked out that she wanted me to do for to give to her husband so let's just take a look at some of these colors sticking the stickers on there of, of when it was boxed up. Might be a way for them to go back and say, hey, that day so-and-so was doing inventory and that might be one reason that, you know, there was uh, diamonds or something in the diamonds and this is new because it's got the diamond art club logo across the top and it says do what makes you sparkle so uh, DMC numbers are on the back so this is a uh, pretty turquoise Might 
be the AB diamonds. Except normally they have the AB next to it. Sometimes on camera when we're doing this the color looks different because somebody can pull out a color and say oh this is blue and it looks purple to us or this is purple and it looks green to us <laughs> I don't know what that is but it, to me it's happened just about to every video I've watched so I'm going to try to put out a video at least every two days for about a week and a half, and then I'll probably start ordering again, but I want them to be, if I order them from China, I want them to be where I still can unbox the ones I have. And then when I get them done, then I'll have some to come in from China. I have been looking at some other websites. Um, Amazon, every time I turn around, there's new stores on them. And it just seems like once you see something like that, then six to ten people have seen it too. And so they... They uh, shoot videos and, and get them put out before I can. You know, I have a lot of life to do with uh, taking care of my mom and then watching my grandbaby. So I really don't have a lot of time in the day to, um, you know, shoot these videos, try to diamond paint some. I wanted to show y'all something here. So just take me a minute. Isn't this picture just pretty? I'm so glad I got it. Diamond Art Club's actually got quite a few animals now. Um, you know, when I first started looking, getting into them, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something I was out looking for, like the, uh, as far as the animals, just something that hit me, and I just started doing them, and so now I specifically go out of my way to look for animals, and the only thing I'm torn about there that I'm a Mandy Manzino fan and she does have some animals but uh, not as many as I'd like so it's either Mandy Manzino or animals I'm squishing my picture down Put back real quick. I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to do inventory off screen, and if there's any problems with it, I'll notate it in the description uh, of this video.
wanted to show you my hey um, I had a little technical difficulty um, but after five hours I'm back and hopefully in about 30 minutes I'll have this posted um, I don't know where we left off I looked up at the camera and uh, it had shut off so it's the first time using it uh, so I don't know exactly what happened I don't know if it only plays for a certain length and then shuts off or whether or not it was my battery because I did change batteries let it charge for a little bit and um, I finally got it to turn on so I just wanted to end with showing my progress on Talitha Kulin Kim I don't I don't know hell I can barely read <laughs> no just kidding okay so I've got a little section of black done here I've been kind of just skipping around because I find out I get less bored with it um, not that this is boring, but I don't know. I just skipped around, and it seems like I got a lot done. So I'm very proud of that. I've got this purple section done right here. Of course, you can probably tell because it's so bright. I wish y'all could see this. Um, yeah, but it's so bright and sparkly. It's, it's beautiful. And then... I've got this whole section right here done. Goes all the way to here and down. So this whole thing right here is completed. And as you can see, the, there's more purple here. Yeah. Uh, I'm just in love with this painting. Just in love with it. And then I got a whole section of black done down here on the bottom. You can see, uh, I have to uh, scoop my desk back or something next time I record because I think I'm too close. And uh, I've got this section right here done. It's uh, kind of peachy and red. I've got a little circle here done, and then I got a circle here done. I wish I could tell, see it. What you might be thinking is glare right here. It's not the, the glare that is actual white and uh, some a little bit of light yellow mixed into this, so it's not a glare. Um, Jesus is grabbing her hands here, so it's like light is just going out like that, and it's. Uh, I have plenty of wall space. I could probably put up about 20 of these. <laughs> but I just started diamond paint, so I'm sure in a year I'll be uh, putting them in the hallway, be giving some away. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my progress here. As y'all know, I like to do progress videos. Um, just to keep y'all informed, I'm not going to give you my opinion or anything like that yet. You know, I'll do that in the uh, <coughs> review of the painting. So, um, yeah. Well, uh, I guess that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. not <laughs> a thumbs down like I said I am cramped in this corner I should have <laughs> if you haven't already please subscribe uh, hit that bell if you want notifications of uh, that <laughs> say previous <laughs> future videos Hey guys, it's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Got like two hours of sleep. So, anyway, subscribe. 
hit that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.